In this tutorial, we will teach you how to name and use cell ranges in Excel. In order to name cells in a spreadsheet, select the relevant cells and go up to the Name box, which is on the top left side of the screen. Here, type in the name for these cells. In this tutorial, we highlighted January column, so January was written in the Name box. The same was done in the case of February. When you click on the downward pointing arrow, the names you have entered will appear. Now when you click on any one of these names and the cells will be highlighted and selected automatically. Another shortcut to carry out this procedure is to highlight the entire area and from under the Formulas tab, click on the Create from Selection button. A dialog box will now open. Since we want to use the names which are in the top row, select the top row option and click on the OK button. When you click on the downward pointing arrow, you will see that the names of all the months will appear in the name box. In order to calculate the total of all the months, type is equals to sum brackets open January brackets close. Instead of dragging the cursor and selecting the data range, you save time by simply typing in January. You can also use another shortcut for this purpose. Press the F3 key and all the names that you have stored will be displayed in paste name box. However, when using this procedure, you will not be able to use the autofill option. It will only copy the sequence of the highlighted cells that you have selected. 